Definitely feels good getting a win. You can tell in the locker room, you know, you know, like got that burden off our shoulders. And uh, I feel like you know, offense played really well today. And uh, you know, we put a lot of points on the board, but we could play a lot better. And I feel like that's the scary thing. You know, we could be a great offense. And uh, the team will have trouble stopping us once we really put it together. But it feels great in the win, and uh, I feel like this could uh, propel us in these next, these last uh, four or five games to, to uh, start getting on the win streak. After the struggles you guys had last week, uh, shut out in the second half, we feel good at the bottom club 59 on the board? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, we want a little more on the board, but you know, we'll, take, we'll take that. But uh, it feels good. But you know, like I said, we, you know we got a lot better in a, a lot of different areas on offense, and you know once we put everything together and have, have a complete game, you know we're going to be really good. Is anybody trying to convince Fitz or any of the coaches to let you guys try to punch in that last touchdown to get 66? I mean, I wanted to get 60. You know, but, uh, you know, you got to be smart. You know, you, you don't want anything to happen, so you know, you know can't complain. Um, but, uh, besides that, I feel like. What did you see in Indiana's defense that you were able to roll up over 600 yards today? Oh, wow. Um, they played a lot of man, and uh, you know, it's just one-on-one -on -one matchups out there. And, uh, you, know, you know, in that case, you know, we're going to say, you know, our guy's better than your guy. Now go, now go out there and beat him. And our guys make plays out there today and uh, gain yards. And then the offensive line just did a great job of blocking. You know, uh, those guys just really stepped up and, uh, you know, just took their role in a full force and, and, and just opened up some big holes out there. Did you know they started seven true freshmen? I did. I did. Uh, we saw that that uh, you know they're, they're kind of switching to a younger defense. A lot of the older guys uh, got put back in the second spot, and they started uh, bringing out some younger guys. So I feel like they're getting prepared for the future right now, and uh, I, I feel like it'll be good getting them some some experience. But uh, you know, took advantage of. I know you're obviously not keeping track of your stats in the game, but you were on a pace for a while to get over 100 yards receiving, rushing, and passing. And what do you have to say about your role that you're playing for this offense? Uh, I talk to my dad every week, and you know, uh, we always talk about setting goals. And throughout my whole life, he's always been telling me to set goals. And one of my goals is going to get 100, 100, 100. I don't know if anybody's ever done that in football history, but. Um, that's just something that you know I've been striving for. So <laughs> you know, it's in my mind, but you know, I just want to go out there and get that win. So you know, unfortunately, I didn't get it today. Uh, I felt like I was pretty close. Have you ever talked to the coaches about that? Uh, the coaches don't know. I mean, I'm okay. sure they'd, they'd be like, I don't care what you want. <laughs> but as far as just me and uh, just talking to my dad, he always tells me to set goals. You know, so I want to get 100, 100, 100. And I want to get a rushing, passing, and receiving touchdown in my game. So set goals and. Yeah. Let's try to go out there and cop some more. How helpful was it for you and Dan to have a guy like Drake to be such a good red zone target? Oh yeah, Drake's, Drake's you know, one of the hardest workers on the team. And uh, you know, after practice, if we ever want to run some extra routes or do anything like that, you know, he's always up for us. So as far as just me and Dan, you know, having that uh, you know chemistry with Drake on the field, you know, it's great. And you know, he's a big body. He's a, he's a real you know uh, athletic tight end, which is just great. Man, he has great hands. And you know, I feel like you know whether there's a, a safety on him or a linebacker on him, you know, it's going to be a mismatch. So we just get him the ball. This team's not used to losing. I think he lost five in a row. How is it to get that finally get that win in the Big Ten? Yeah, um, you know, Dan said it the best. You know, it, it's been so frustrating these last five games. You know, we really haven't shown what we can do, and you know, in our opinion, you know, we, we shouldn't have lost these games. You know, we, we just keep beating ourselves. So we get frustrated. And, and Dan said, you know, let, let's take all that frustration out and let's go out there and, and put it on Indiana and, and get this win. So all that pent up, you know, frustration, we finally got to let it loose and get a W. And, and it just feels great, you know. And I feel like now we can really move on, you know, watch the film and, and try to go, you know, get these last regular season games and get to a pretty good ball game. So when do you guys start thinking about Nebraska next week? Right now, right now. So, you know, the win was great today, but, uh, you know, I feel like this next game coming up, um, going to play Nebraska, it's, it's going to be huge. So uh, I feel like it's the biggest game of the season. If we can get this one, you know, uh, Wildcats going to be somebody great. Right so we really did this uh, this win, and, you know, being in Nebraska, you know, it's a special place. You know, my dad played against a bunch of college, and, you know, um, just watching them and you know, growing up, you know, I'm really looking forward to playing out there.